On a fairly empty block on Detroit's east side, a pair of artists from Brooklyn, New York, have been pursuing an artistic vision quest. Architect and DJ Matthew Radoon and former Detroiter and photographer Gregory Holm have been busily encasing an abandoned house in ice. It's not as easy as you might think given the mild weather, and the guys have enlisted a bus and a roofing tarp to protect the house's icy coating from the morning sun. A lot of people just think it's an accident immediately, and then once you explain that it's an artwork, and then they kind of smile, and you know, they probably think we're crazy still, but, uh, <laughs> but they seem to appreciate it just as something that, that they had never seen before. We're leasing this house from the state of Michigan. We gave them a sizable donation to lease the house. It's one of a couple hundred abandoned houses that they're gonna deconstruct in the spring. The donation that we gave to the state of Michigan also went to move a single mother and her family into another house that was foreclosed. So that was kind of our gift to the city. Initially, a lot of people got on our case about potentially exploiting Detroit with this project. And there's this term ruined porn and kind of exploiting the abandonment. We spent a lot of time on research trips this fall, you know, talking with Detroiters who lived in the inner city and people were very open to our project. We didn't get any of the harsh criticism that we were getting from people that live in the suburbs and think that they're trying to protect Detroiters. Uh, I think the people that live in more inner city part of Detroit, they thought that it was an interesting project and once we explained what we were doing, they understood. People explain that they used to play in this abandoned house. They used to go to the school across the street, but that school doesn't exist anymore. I want to take the picture of it, see how pretty it is. I think it's pretty. Family lived there, man and his wife. I said they used to have a beautiful peach tree back there on the side of the house in the back. It used to be a pretty place. Final outcome of this project? Yep. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> we are going to be putting a book together um, to give out to some of the people that were kind enough to donate to our project. And I am doing some photography. I'm shooting 8x10 film and some 4x5 as well. And uh, we're shooting a, a film that documents this as well. So that's probably the final outcome. As an artist, I'd love to be able to exhibit this somewhere in Detroit. Um, but as of now, I, I don't have any plans or I haven't been asked to. We felt that people passing by randomly could have an interaction with this artwork, whereas they probably wouldn't go to a gallery to see something like this. People drive by at night at 2 in the morning and they go a full block and then screech to a halt and drive backwards a full block just to look at the project for half an hour. I mean, that's kind of makes us glad that we, we did it the way that we did it. Mm -hmm.